This is CBS News Special Report. I'm Jeff Glor reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. We are on the air because there is huge news at the Supreme Court. Justice Anthony Kennedy has just announced he is retiring. In a letter to President Trump, Kennedy wrote for a member of the legal profession, it is the highest of honors to serve on this court. But he is now retiring. Kennedy was nominated to the high court by President Ronald Reagan in 1988. He has served as the swing vote in many decisions in these past 30 years. His retirement now gives President Trump the chance uh, to nominate a second justice to the Supreme Court and further cement um, conservative positions on the court. We want to turn now to Jan Crawford, our chief legal correspondent. Um, Jan, surprise or no? Well, Justice Kenney had been saying privately that he was considering retirement. I think it was widely expected that he would retire last year or maybe this year. I don't think this is a big surprise, but the, the headline is what you said. This gives President Trump his second nomination and with Republicans in control of the Senate, a chance to really turn the Supreme Court to the right for a generation. Justice Kennedy was a conservative, no doubt, but he had a libertarian streak. He was from California, and so sometimes he would side with liberals on those big social issues that people care about, whether it was abortion, affirmative action, or gay rights. In fact, he wrote all of the decisions preserving uh, gay rights and same-sex marriage nationwide. This will be seen as a tremendous blow uh, to the left and to Democrats, who I am certain will be stunned, because in many ways, Democrats made one of the biggest political blunders in modern history by trying to filibuster Justice Neil Gorsuch last year, who, of course, was nominated to replace the conservative Justice Scalia. Uh, Republicans then invoked what's called the nuclear option, did away with filibusters for the Supreme Court, which means it will be very difficult for Democrats to stop President Trump's nominee for this position. Uh, we expect President Trump to go to the list of nominees that he has compiled. They are solidly conservative. Conservative, uh, probably I'm willing to bet more conservative on social issues than Justice Kennedy has been, uh, who again has that libertarian streak. Uh, but you're going to see a battle in Washington yeah, now because, over the future of the court. Yeah. So, but I mean, Kennedy, though, Jan, I mean, surprised Reagan and surprised many conservatives after he was uh, installed. Well, he frustrated conservatives. Justice Kennedy was the third nominee to fill the seat back uh, when he was nominated in 1987 because the first two nominees, Robert Bork, uh, was voted down in the Senate, and then uh, Douglas Ginsburg, a federal appeals court judge, had to withdraw his nomination. So in some ways, he was kind of seen as, as a, a consensus pick, someone that could get confirmed, and he was confirmed uh, in 1988. Uh, uh, and then he got on the court, and he began issuing a number of conservative decisions, and he was quite conservative conservative this term, Jeff, by the way. Uh, and remember, he did write that very impassioned dissent in the Obamacare case when the court with John Roberts voted to uphold President Obama's signature achievement. But I think the message here, the takeaway here, is that he's considered a swing vote. He was the key vote uh, in refusing to overturn Roe versus Wade. Uh, he was with liberals on a number of other of those social issues. He would always if not voting with liberals on those social issues, he also would kind of constrain the bolder conservatives on the court. So they may be willing to go much further. They say, you know, let's, let's end affirmative action or greatly scale back abortion rights. And Justice Kennedy was always there kind of pulling them back a little bit. The key to understanding him, uh, many people uh, have speculated, is that, you know, he would just never say never on some of those social issues. And now we will, may well have a nominee who's willing to be uh, a little more Old. So, Jen, the, the Scalia seat was open for 14 months. How long, how long would you expect this seat to remain vacant for? <laughs> Not that long. I mean, I would expect you will see a new justice uh, nominated by President Trump uh, and confirmed by the Senate over the summer and in place to hear arguments when the justices return from their recess the first Monday in October. And there will be very little Democrats can do about it. Okay, Jen Crawford uh, from D.C., we will see you uh, with much more on this story tonight on the CBS Evening News. Um, Jen, so much to discuss uh, with the seismic news from the Supreme Court this afternoon, the retirement of Justice Kennedy, long, long a swing vote. Um, we'll have much more on this on your local news, uh, also on our streaming network, uh, CBSN, and tonight on the CBS Evening News. Again. The